the planned reduction on the agricultural sector budget for the financial year 2015-2016 from 473.3 billion shillings to 417 billion shillings is sending jitters from a section of the public. And for another when you say laboratories, it's not about even the, the laboratories in the building, but they have laboratories in the field, you know. So those demonstration farms, those new varieties that they are trying to put up, so it's in a dire need uh, of money. When you add a normal increase, say, to 200 billion, and it comes to 220 billion, but the budget has grown, as you see, from 15 to 20. So you need to look at the nominal plus proportional changes to derive the true picture of it. But some of it, most of it, is indeed as a result of either projects ending. The civil society budget advocacy group Sesbag says the new budget estimated at 18.3 trillion shillings up from 15.8 trillion shillings will not have sustainable impact. Because this in a way will limit innovation, it will limit uh, creativity and, and yet uh, we need these young people to get, uh, you know, to be exposed as early as they can to innovation, to skills because these are skills that will put them into the world of work. For next financial year 15-16, uh, finance has allocated 50 billion shillings uh, towards the enhancement of university uh, lecturers' uh, salaries. And with actual absorption lines in ministries and departments still within the 50% threshold, there is concern that other critical sectors of service delivery will continue to underperform. We have all these issues in Kampala with the, with the, with, with the issues of water in Kampala and the performance of the sector, at least by quarter one that we looked at, is less than 20 percent, particularly when you look at the urban water and sanitation vote. Among others, the civil society budget advocacy group is asking government to reform the management structure of the foreign exchange market and enhance public-private partnership in agro-processing so as to stimulate economic activity. Reina Ojan, NTV Business.